Hey, John, what's up? How Good are you? you? Yeah, you too. Nice ride, isn't it? Yeah, sick. Maybe one day. Maybe <laughs> one day. How'd the last ride go? Uh, the Escalade was good. It was great. Uh, maybe a little over the top, though, for my next guest. So I'm looking for something that's hardworking, reliable, like you get out to your car, it's cold. You put the key in, you know it's going to fire right up. I you got, got some? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Let's do it. Let's take a look. Hi, Banksy, yep. what do you say? Grab a coffee? Yeah, that would be great. Perfect. I got a nice ride for you to our friends from uh, Davidson over out at Rome. They gave us the uh, Escalade for Archie last oh, time. Nice. I know you saw that, but yeah, yeah. I decided to get something a little bit different for you. So let me show you what I got. All right. All right, Banksy, uh, 2018 Chevy Traverse Redline Edition. What do you think? First impressions? Very nice vehicle. Nice uh, car, right? Yeah, tons of room. It's not bad. It's got all the bells and whistles, heated seats and everything, keeping uh, it warm in this weather. Heated steering wheel as well. That's so nice. if you get cold, you can just grab the wheel. Don't pull it in <laughs> any direction, though. I brought a gift for you. Awesome. Um, every good host is supposed to give a gift, right? So yeah. I have a gift for you. And uh, it's actually hiding right now in the car, but let me okay. Let me grab that Whoa. for you. Yeah. All right. All right. You you take that part, and then look at this. Look look who came. <laughs> look who's with us. You can oh, put him on the awesome. little thing too. <laughs> what do you think? He looks that's good, great. doesn't he? Yeah, they did a really good job. Here, put him on his little platform. Okay. He can ride with us the whole oh, time. Yeah. All right. Let's get that's a coffee. Great. What do you say? Yeah, that's awesome. Let's do All it. Right. What are you getting? Coffee. Yeah, sure. I'd love coffee. What would you like? Just uh, medium black coffee. What I've noticed about you, kind of right out of the gate, is you are one of the nicest humans I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> um, well, thank you. You're almost like a stereotypical Canadian, like unreasonably nice. And so it raises the question, have you ever like sent food back at a restaurant? Or have you ever called like the cable company and been like, I'm being overcharged, I hate this? <laughs> You know what, I, uh, I struggle with that one at restaurants a lot. Say you get a steak right. and it's not cooked like quite to you, how, you're, how do you like it? It's right. like such an awkward thing to try to send it back. Um, so I, I, I don't do that. So uh, big news in your personal life, you're getting married this summer. I am, yes. How much decision making do you have to do with this wedding? Uh, I try to help out a little bit, I'd say it's probably 80-20. 80-20? Yeah. But, do we know uh, any of the groomsmen? Yeah, you do. Uh, Wacy Hamilton's, uh, he's actually in my wedding party and he's also emceeing the wedding. No he's, way. He was actually there on day one when I uh, met my fiance. And, really? Uh, he knows us both. He's been, we spend a lot of time with him in the summers and obviously throughout the season when, um, and yeah, so he's, uh, he's gonna emcee it. If I had to peg you for a fan of a certain type of music, I would probably guess country. Is that your go-to? That is correct. It yeah. might be, I know the shot is from the waist up, but it might be the boots that you're wearing. That might be a big <laughs> giveaway. But you're also, but you also live in BC, right? But yep. you're from Calgary, is that correct? Like how so, long have you yeah. lived in BC? I mean, everybody in Western Canada is like a cowboy. I feel like <laughs> that might be a, 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 a bit of a generalization, but like, I mean, that area of Alberta is kind of like, it's a lot of farming, right? Yeah, it's a lot yeah, of definitely, flat land definitely, and a definitely. lot of, and they love country music. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have heard about the Stampede, um, big uh, ten day event with big rodeo, chuck wagon racing. Um, what is a chuck wagon? There's a driver, and then there's four horses, um, and how it starts. Um, they have outriders, and it's like goes back to the old days. You used to have to throw a stove and wood into the back of the chuck wagon and then they got to go up and around the, uh, a barrel and around another barrel. You know how and, bizarre that sounds. Yeah, I right? know. It's hard okay. to explain. So what I'm picturing is, and I think I might be a little bit confused, but like what I picture when you tell me a chuck wagon, I think of like a covered wagon that you would take on the Oregon Trail. That's exactly like, what it is. Really? Yeah. Okay. So does anybody dive dysentery? No. Okay. Did no. you play the video I game did. growing that up? Was a great video. You, you and me are from the same generation. You're born in what, 89, 89 right? And yeah. I'm a 90, and I feel yeah. like Oregon Trail was our introduction to like video games. Oh, and yeah. That was that We was used huge. to play with our family, and like we'd laugh at our cousins when they would die of dysentery, which is the most maniacal thing oh, yeah. ever. 
Yeah. But I don't know what to tell you, man. When you're on the Oregon Trail, it brings out the savage in you, yeah, the seriously. animal in you. The legend of truck wagon racing, the Wayne Gretzky, that is named Kelly Sutherland. And uh, he's won, I think, over 10 world champions. There is a Wayne Gretzky of chuck wagon oh, racing. Oh, yeah, it's a big deal. What's his name again? Kelly Sutherland. Kelly he Sutherland. He just retired due to age. No he way. Was, uh, was it a big deal? Was it big news? Years. Oh, yeah, it was huge news. Have you ever been starstruck before in your life? Definitely, definitely. With um, whom? Jerome McGinley. Uh, oh. When I was with the Calgary Flames, I was young. Um, I got to go to a training camp with him and um, it was pretty cool. He was my favorite, one of one of my top three favorite players in my life growing up. Uh, really? Growing up we got to watch a lot of the Calgary games just because it's, um, my family still lived there, my aunts and uncles, so I'd go there when I was young and get to catch their games and I was always a huge fan of him. It just seemed like a class act, um, played hard and uh, I got to got to meet him. I was a little starstruck. Do you have sure. his phone number? No, I don't. No, he was, but he was always, to the young guys at camp, he was always, uh, made you feel welcome, would take a second to chat with you and not just a quick hello, kind of get to know you a little bit. And So Jerome, Jerome McGinley was your guy. Yeah, I, uh, I really respected him and uh, I had, he, I grew up cheering for him and he was scoring 50 goals and. Now um, if he could see you now, you got <laughs> bobbleheads made of yourself, right? Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> It's kind of a million dollar grin though. Like it's, it really is like that's, it's so unique. I thought it was, uh, it was awesome. Beautiful car. Smooth ride. We only got honked ride. at once. Yeah, yeah. So we Which did is pretty good. good there. Driver kept me safe. And <coughs> uh, yeah, it was a beautiful vehicle.